Now listen to the testimony of Dr. J. Kellinson, who performed the abortion in the film The Silent Scream. How many abortions would you think you've performed in your career? I'd say I probably perform 10,000 or more. I can remember days when I would do 30, 35 abortions. Would you do second trimester late abortion, D and E's, even for medical reasons? No, I, I, absolutely not. I mean, uh, that is probably the most horrifying procedure I can think about. I, there's just, just absolutely no way that I would ever do that. Here is Dr. Joseph Randall, former director of an abortion clinic in Atlanta. His clinic was doing 50 to 60 abortions a day. It made me realize for the first time in that, that I was doing not the right thing, that I was killing babies and not serving women. Uh, everything kind of, I just got fed up and I was hurting so much, I was feeling bad inside, I, I was nearly at times suicidal. I would be more willing to give my own life than to perform an abortion. Dr. Arnold Halpern was a director of a Planned Parenthood abortion clinic. The other thing that gave me license to do abortions was the fact that I never personally considered a fetus a real baby until 20 weeks of gestation when one could hear the fetal heart tones and the woman feel movements. Now somewhere along the line I, I, I was apprised or thought I was apprised that the fetus was not a human being until it arrived to the point where a woman could feel that baby move. As we've gone from 1982 to 1986 and into the late 1980s we realize that the fetus really is a child and that it really is moving and the heartbeat is really beating by the use of ultrasound and modern, uh, modern techniques of detecting the fetus. There is no difference between a first trimester abortion and a second trimester abortion or a third trimester abortion or infanticide. It's all the same human being in different stages of development. And one day I walked into the abortion clinic with 10 or 13 women waiting and I realized that I could not do any more abortions. I felt uncomfortable doing it. I felt uh, disgusted at myself. I realized now that I had been starting to do second trimester abortions. And not only did I see a little bit of tissue coming out, I saw fetal parts and I saw babies coming out. And I felt that I was so uncomfortable at this point that I could not continue and I walked out of the clinic and left that clinic without doing the abortions and never entered the abortion clinic again. I finally got to the point where I could not look at those little bodies anymore. There's no doubt in my mind that I would never perform an abortion ever again. We have gone into a noble profession for healing and we lose sight of what we were uh, called to do when we get into the killing business.